going to start by talking about our hip, low back, and upper back positioning. So we cue the ab roller with a little bit of lumbar spine flexion and thoracic spine flexion to kind of lock up our torso and allow us to train our abs. That's what we're going for here. A lot of people will go into extension and kind of hang out in this position and roll out really far. So when you get set up, what you're gonna do is your hands are gonna come onto the um, at will, your hands are gonna be under your shoulders, and then you wanna kinda squeeze your butt, and that's gonna create that flexion or a little bit of rounding in your low back. And then you wanna push your chest toward the floor, or excuse me, push your chest toward the ceiling to create that little bit of a rounding effect in your upper back. And then from here, I'm trying to keep my butt engaged. And this is gonna allow me to keep that torso positioning so when I roll out, I'm not losing my tension into extension, and I'm able to come to a bottom position and come back up. So for many of you, you may need to start in this small position here, and then you'll notice if you get your hips back too far behind your knees, there's not a lot of load that goes through your trunk or your torso. So you always wanna keep your hips slightly in front or at least above your knees so if you need to do minor motions to start or small motions to start, you're able to feel the load into your abdominals. But the goal is to keep your hips engaged, kind of that round position, and be able to get all the way to a bottom position and come back up.